disappointed that uh, that game gets impacted so so much seven minutes in when the guy takes an elbow to the head and there's not even a minor penalty called and now we're down a forward body when we're already short health wise and obviously as the game wore on and you know it's difficult to fill guys and line spots and on power plays and penalty kill and you know it's a pretty important non call that that uh, puts us at a significant disadvantage. So I thought our guys did a heck of a job to battle through adversity again uh, like that and to continue to put ourselves in position to win games against a very, very good team and one of the hottest teams in our league. So things outside of our control seem to want to impact us an awful lot right now, and that's not fair to our guys. Take questions. Yeah, he's not doing very well right now. So what that means moving forward, I don't know. He'll be evaluated tomorrow morning again. Um, you know, but obviously it's uh, obvious just to the casual observer that it was a pretty significant elbow. It looked like a straight elbow to the head. It looked like that to just about everybody, but, but two pretty important people in the building. So I appreciate you saying that. Coach, how do you think your team responded? Yeah, it's like, you know, it's important to note, you know, what a hole that is. You know, not only a guy who plays on a power play is one of the first guys over the boards on a penalty kill, but he's the voice of your team. You know, so seven minutes in, you lose a guy, and we're already down Yacobellis tonight. You know, guys rallied. Like, the energy on the bench, you're hearing voices, guys picking each other up. You know, obviously, we continue to push forward. There are momentum swings that you know we managed very, very well and kept pucks to the outside and the perimeter as the game wore on, and maybe our legs started to go a little bit. You know, I give our guys a heck of a lot of credit. I, I was really impressed with the you know how they circled the wagons uh, early going in a very difficult game. Well, you know, as you said, it's uh, it's not easy when it's not just roll rolling lines too. You know, your, your coaches are piecing lines together. Who's up next? You're playing with different guys every every time out there. You know, so for the resilience of our guys to just jump over the boards and do it the right way, um, regardless of whether they were a senior or a freshman tonight, I thought it was again uh, it was impressive. And, but unfortunately, uh, we just ran out of gas. I felt. Right. Uh, yeah, um, just trying to keep my game simple. Just um, trying to go to the net and just cause some havoc. And the puck seemed to bounce my way. Um, it'd be nice if we, in a winning effort tonight, but that we battled hard. And um, yeah. Coach, what do you think were some of the biggest differences in the final period? The biggest differences in terms of. The way the game went, or well, I, you know, again, it's uh, you get in that situation where it's uh, you know you're defending a lead, and they they obviously get that uh, get that goal six minutes in. It's about managing the emotion and making sure that you're doing things the right way. You know, obviously, they get the uh, uh, you know they get the the second one, you know, two and a half minutes later. But you know, it wasn't like I thought our guys were scrambling or collapsing, you know, I, I thought we put up a good effort. You know, we didn't manage the puck, I didn't feel on our zone entries as probably as well in the third period, which which put us in defensive positions in transition that we normally weren't in and that's obviously a lot of energy expended in those scenarios, but when you're pressing to try to get goals because you feel like you're at a disadvantage, uh, you know, that's sometimes what you get. How long will be out? I, I do not right now, Jocko. Uh, like I say, we'll have a better idea tomorrow, but I would, you know, I would anticipate just based on what I, what my eyes saw tonight, I, I would anticipate it not being good. Going off that, do you have any updates on Jocko um, How long do you expect him to be out? Uh, I do not at this point, no. Coach, after a tough loss like this, how do you rally up the guys for a big game tomorrow versus Well, right now it's about, you know, taking care of the physical part of it. You know, it's about food, it's about water, it's about ice tubs, and, you know, 
trying to get the body on the recovery path that it needs to to you know play the game that I know that we're going to have to play tomorrow against a very good Lowell team. So uh, you know I, that's what the next you know, 12 hours is going to be about, and then we'll get up tomorrow morning. We'll you know talk a little bit and flush tonight, and then get an eye towards putting ourselves in the best position to win tomorrow. I thought we played hard. I mean, um, I, I wouldn't just say it was the underclassmen. I think everyone worked, like, did what they had to do to get, to get the job done. I mean, it came up a little short, but I thought overall as a team we did pretty well. And, I mean, we they didn't get the result, but I feel like it wasn't just the underclassmen. I think everyone worked pretty hard tonight. Riley, it's been great to see you this step not really big of, like, it looks like a, a water bug out there as a bonus. How, how does it make you feel to start kind of coming out of your shell and uh, making a name for yourself? Obviously, it feels pretty good. I mean, um, it's nice to get a couple, get a little confidence, score a couple goals. But, um, yeah, just trying to keep it simple, and uh, that's b the biggest thing for me. And um, things are working out, so it's pretty good so far.